Hello, this is Presenter Doi Kim, and our research team is from UNI, South Korea. The research title is Design and Field Trial of Lumino in Homes, Supporting Reflective Life by Archiving and Showing Daily Mood with Light Colors. Personal mood self-tracking can help to increase the user's emotional well-being. However, it is difficult to understand an individual's mood only by using sensing technology, so the self-reporting method remains key in understanding the user's mood. In this regard, previous studies showed color can be used as an effective medium to express and reflect users' daily mood in a tangible product. Also, they show that an individual's interpretation of color can be subjective. In addition, living with a reflective attitude has many benefits, but self-reflection is not easy in daily life. Therefore, researchers made intangible data physical and used the ambient feedback to enhance people's motivation to supplement the difficulties of self-reflection in daily life. Based on the lessons, our aim of research is to explore how personal mood can be suppressed and reflected with color light in daily living spaces. Our design started from the need for the field deployment of the prototypes which explore how people record their moods using their own color expression without depending too much on existing theories of color and emotion mapping. So we considered a method to record moods as colored light in artifacts that users can see and interact with in their living spaces. We consider several objects during the design process and we choose a standalone light. Because light can visualize the research of tangible interaction, has a good function to stimulate people's deeper emotions by creating a new ritual for daily reflection. We wanted to make it not look like lighting the record mood, give users the sense of opening and closing a diary through physical interaction. We also allow users to discard or hide recorded moods on Lumino. Lastly, through a counterclockwise interaction, when showing past records, we want to give a hint for recalling abstract records. Lumino is divided into record mode and show mode. Slide the plate to the right to record mode. This reverses the recording interface, allowing users to express their mood in color via the RGB dial and white slider. After setting the color, slide the plate to the left to save the mood and change to show mode. In show mode, you can swipe up to discard recorded moods, rotate the disk to visit past record with date, and switch to mood light mode, or adjust the brightness. This is luminous hardware and detailed structure. We did a three-week field study with six participants, and we conducted weekly interviews including pre-interviews. Our aim of the study was to know how Lumino helps to record personal moods through the colored light, what type of colored light Lumino can express, and how Lumino supports a user's self-reflection in daily life. We installed Lumino in the participant's home. We made an open course through three weeks of interviews and logs. Through an iterative affinity diagramming process, we created three large clusters as follows. This figure is the log data of user study. If you look at the orange box, you can see that most of the participants recorded mood at a similar time, and at the green box, all participants look back on the past record once a week. There are two major findings. First, toward better reflective experiences in daily life. Starting and ending several reflection when they wanted was helpful for their reflective experience. P1 said looking into his emotions all day can be tiring, but he could only reflect when he wanted through Lumino, like log in and log out. As a finding about privacy, participants considered the mood recording through colored light as a personal diary when only the user knew the meaning. All six participants mentioned it was okay to show their mood publicly because lighting is like a password, but if others knew the colored meaning, they were reluctant to expose it. Second, feeling and handling archive daily positive and negative emotions. Participants said when looking at records through Lumino, abstract records of colored light help them not to fall too deeply into reflecting of negative emotions. For example, Pistri said the color doesn't directly express the mood, but it helps him metaphorically, which is very comforting. Also, there are various use patterns according to private diary writing patterns and tools. 
the first case, participants constantly used certain color to express their specific moods. They were monitoring themselves and doing self-reflection, such as writing a diary. The second case, participants constantly used certain colors to express their specific mood, but the color changed in the middle of the user study. They had a planning tendency with excellent self-management, and there were many attempts to control their emotions through Lumino. The last case, participant used different color to express his specific mood. He usually writes emotionally, and he used Lumino to express momentary feeling. In addition, we found changes in the participant's existing diary practice after using Lumino. Participants who recorded mood in handwritten diaries did not start writing and continued with Lumino. On the other hand, the participants who recorded mood in the application stopped using the app when using Lumino. Within this pattern, participants sometimes used Lumino in their own special method. Participants either discarded the record or used the mood light mode because they did not want to reflect negative moods. Also, we could see that they tried to reduce viewing negative moods in their own way. P5 recorded red for concentration and P4 recorded rainbow colors for good luck. Based on those findings, we had three major discussions. First discussion is about existing diary practice and their relation to everyday mood recording tangible object. Providing emotional content first in cloud light can induce users to record in a different way. Moreover, cloud mood recording triggered writing more emotional aspects than factual writings, and visibility of recorded mood lowered the threshold to start emotional writing. As such, pre-exposure of color mood record in daily life can be an efficient way for users to strengthen their existing diary practice. At the same time, if users record mood later, they can express subtle differences in feelings that are difficult to express in writing. In addition, as a device element for momentary feeling recording, visual expression of subtle differences can supplement the limitation of existing recording. The second discussion is effect and possibility of reflecting negative emotions through colored light. To increase case reflection, both positive and negative factors must be considered. One way could create a complementary relationship through physical lighting, both positive and negative reflection at the same time. Positive colored light should potential neutralizing negative reflection. Simultaneously, colored light representing negativity could potentially create positive tension in the user's life. In other words, when having negative self-reflection, if the user feels other emotions, the negative emotions expressed with colored light can sufficiently contribute to the user's health reflections. In addition, when physically showing negative emotions, consider how to adjust the level of exposure according to the user's will. Negative self-reflection can increase access to negative thoughts and emotions. Thus, there is a new design opportunity to control negative emotional reflection at the user's will. Moreover, it is necessary to consider the ambiguity of expression. The psychological distance from oneself during reflection plays an important role in whether there is a positive or negative direction in negative self-reflection. The ambiguity of the colored record led participants to become less immersed and more distanced from their emotions. In other words, color expression is closer to a self-distanced perspective. It can possibly lead a negative emotional reflection in a positive direction. The last finding is about designing for personal mood reflective experiences in everyday life. When designing everyday objects to help with reflection, the basic function of the object and the role of evoking reflection need to be seamlessly synthesized with each other. Also, using lighting with other recording methods could help to enrich the experience, and cloud light is a good means to display personal information in public places because its meaning is private and has an abstract quality. In addition, light is a suitable medium for providing ambient information because it can show personal mood in an abstract way and provide attention-grabbing effect. Furthermore, as ambient lighting promotes the environment mood, which creates a suitable environment for self-reflection. Thank you for listening to the presentation about the Lumino research so far.